Hey there! In this quick video, I'm going to show you how to open and edit a template in Adobe InDesign. If you would like to follow the tutorial, all you need is a flyer or brochure template and some images. You can find all of these on Evado Elements. These assets will also be linked at the top of the written tutorial. And last, you will also need Adobe InDesign. Once you have all of these elements, we are ready to get started. Locate the zip files that you downloaded from Envato Elements and double click to decompress them. Within this new folder, you will find a font text file that will list the fonts that are being used on the template in the files for the template. Here I am decompressing the brochure file and the fonts here are listed on the help text file. And I will be using those links to download the fonts and here I have my images and my fonts. Open the font book so you can install the fonts and you can do that by dragging the fonts into the font book and they will automatically be installed. Let's head over to the window here and let's open the A4 by fold brochure. And first we want to check the pages. So we will be working with four pages. Let's check on our layers and we'll be working with one layer. And now let's check on the paragraph styles. If you can't find any of these panels, head over to window. And there are all the pan panels here. We have the styles, paragraph styles and pages and layers. So here we have a variety of paragraph styles. The advantage of using them is that they can save time and help you design consistently avoiding mistakes. For example, if you want to change the font throughout the document, you can do so by uh, choosing one of these and just changing the font. So let's head over to the first page and let's place an image. So select the object, press command D to place an image, select an image and click open. And we can select the direct selection tool to resize the image and move it around. So let's find here a place, a good place for it. Now we can resize also by going to the control bar and changing the percentage there. Let's select the text tool and we can change the text on the left side here. So double click on the text box and highlight and change the text. If you need a bigger text box, uh, select the selection tool and make the text box just slightly bigger. Let's head down here and let's add a headline. And again, if the headline is too long, go back to the selection tool and make the text box bigger. And let's say we want a shorter tagline and we want to make the text box smaller. So head back to the selection tool and double click on the middle point of the text box and that will snap it short. So let's place these two on the margin. And now let's add a logo. Press Command D and select a logo, click open and draw a rectangle outside of the page. And this will house the logo um, to the size that you want it to be. To resize, press Shift Option and from one of the corners, just drag in. And let's replace the old logo with the new one. And again, you can resize as much as you need to um, to what fits better on the brochure. So let's work on our interior pages. Press space and drag and select the object. Press command D to place an image. Let's select the file and click open. And remember, you can use the direct selection tool to move the image and to resize it. Remember to press shift to resize evenly. Let's head down here. So let's say we want a shorter headline and a shorter uh, paragraph. So maybe we can add even a third paragraph at the bottom. So double click here on the text box to make it smaller. Let's drag these two and move them upwards and press shift option and drag both objects downwards. This will duplicate both text boxes. And there we have our new paragraph. 
If you would like to delete anything, go back to the selection tool and select what you don't need and press backspace. Let's head over here to the second page and let's open our paragraph styles to see what we will be using. So select on one of the text boxes to see what style we're using and that's body text. Double click on that. Check the preview option to see the changes and we'll change the font here. So head over to the basic character formats on the font family. We'll change Lado for Open Sans. And you will be able to see on the left side here that it will change fonts. So everything that has body text style on it will change the font. So let's click OK. And here we can see that this uh, side of the page is not using that specific style. It's using a different one. So if we want to change that one too, double click on that uh, and change the font on the basic character formats. This is a great shortcut to use if you want to apply your own brand to the template. You just need to go through all of the styles and just change the fonts and it will all change automatically. Let's close our paragraph styles panel and open the swatches panel. And here you can see all the colors that have been and are being used on the template. And the same way as the paragraph styles, we can double click on any of these colors. Let's choose an object double click on the swatch and you can change the color of um, the swatch and this will change automatically on all the objects around the template. So here I'll change this to a green color. Click OK. And let's see the rest of the document that has changed. There are a few blue colors here on the cover and down here on the facts sheet that haven't changed. So let's change those two. Select the swatch and tweak the colors. So that's perfect. Let's move the window to the side to see if the color is matching. Click OK. Select the other swatch and tweak it again. You can go back and forth with these colors. This is a great way to apply your own brand to the template. Let's head down here and change the color of the text. Select these two text boxes, press J to change the formatting type from frame to text. Select a color. Perfect. Let's do the same here on the left side. Select these two text boxes, press J and change the color. Now there's something called tint and here I will show you with the background of the facts. Select the facts change the color and the tint will change the shade of the same color between light and dark. Let's head back here and I'll change the colors of the quotes to match the facts. So let's choose a green, change the tint to 10. And now let's add uh, an image here. So select all the objects, press shift and unselect the very back object and press backspace to delete. Press command D to place an image, select the image, click open. Now it's time to export the file. So let's check the bleeds and make sure that all of the objects are meeting the bleed mark here. So we don't have any mistakes when printing. So we can see that everything is over the bleeds. Press command E to export and find where you want to save your file. I am going to create a new folder called export. Change the format to Adobe PDF print. Click save. Change the quality to press quality. This is for printing. Go to marks and bleeds. Check all the printer's marks and the document bleed settings. Click export. And let's head back here. And there we have our brochure template for printing all customized. If you would like to create a file to send on an email, press command E to export and change the format to interactive and click save and I will change the name to online here. You can choose to export as pages or spreads. I'll choose pages. Change the compression uh, quality to high and click export, click OK. And now we have a PDF file ready to 
be distributed online or on an email. And there you have it. This is how to open and edit a flyer or brochure template in Adobe InDesign. It's really quick and easy, and you should give it a try.